name is Luis Dominguez, and I am a testbed analyst for the Mars Science Laboratory project here at JPL. JPL's mission is going out and exploring space. MSL is a Mars Science Laboratory. It's a rover that has a suite of instruments that will determine if Mars has the capability to support life. I grew up in a in a very poor area, South Central LA. My family did not have much money. I graduated at 16 from high school and went to Cal Poly Pomona. I was doing really well in school, so I was like, hey, I'll try and get an internship somewhere. Essentially what I did was a uh, resume bomb. You know, I just threw resumes everywhere <laughs> and see where they stuck. Uh, JPL was actually one of the companies that called me. I came in, had my interview, and everything went swell, so I ended up working in ATLO, which is Assembly Test and Launch Operations for MSL and then transferred over to the test bed. My exact job in this mission is software and hardware testing and the interactions between software and hardware. Each computer speaks a different language. Essentially what they do is talk to one main computer and he's the one that speaks all the languages and can tell the other one what each one is doing. That software is extremely complicated. The navigation software actually has to work with the imaging software to take a picture of the layout and then figure out the best way to drive through these rocks. Because you don't want to end up on Mars and then you're just like kind of like tilted over on a rock. Uh, that would really suck. <laughs> on the rover we have uh, APXS, which is the Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer. Then we also have the drill. It's capable of drilling into a rock and then it'll take the dust and actually funnel it through to a system and put it into what we call SAM, which is Sample Analysis at Mars. It bakes the rocks and determines whether the basic building blocks of life are there on Mars. You definitely get a sense of how to work as a team when problems are discovered. Any problem found, we're supposed to report. We have a computer system that allows us to generate reports saying, oh, this problem was found. Something very small can seem like it doesn't matter, but at a much higher level, it'll just be catastrophic. It's just round-the-clock testing to make sure that our spacecraft makes it to space. Tenacity is probably one of the best virtues to have in robotics because it's a lot of programming, and you know, programming is very trial and error. You'll try this, and it might work, and then you can rewrite it another way, and it'll work better. I'm really good at troubleshooting, so just thinking of a big problem and then isolating the issue. There are tons of solutions to a single problem, and you just want to optimize and get the best one. If you think broader, you can just discover so many things that are just amazing in this world.